Hello, my name is Laura Hendricks. I'm the lead author on a recent paper that was conducted to investigate the adverse experiences that women may face during their time in military service. Together with Professor Dominic Murphy and Dr. Victoria Williamson, we were particularly interested in looking at experiences of military sexual trauma in the form of harassment and assault, as well as emotional bullying and physical assault. What our study found was that a worryingly high number of women may experience adversity during their time in military service. Of the 750 women who took part, we found that 23% of them reported having experienced sexual harassment during service, 5% reported sexual assault, 23% reported emotional bullying, and 3% reported physical assault. And importantly, all of these forms of adversity were associated with current PTSD difficulties, with particularly strong associations being observed among women who reported physical and sexual assault. These adverse experiences were also found to be associated with current anxiety and depression symptoms, physical somatic symptoms, alcohol use difficulties, as well as lower social support and feelings of loneliness. These findings suggest that the adverse experiences that women may face during their time in service may continue to impact their mental health long after service has ended. We believe that this study clearly highlights the need for further research to better understand the lived experiences of women who have faced such adversity. It is important to recognize that women may face a unique set of challenges during their time in service and that these experiences may occur in addition to more typical military related traumas that they may encounter. Such a scope is essential for services in order uh, to be able to appropriately meet the specific needs that women veterans face. It is also important to recognize that many women do not go on to report these adversities due to the fears of being reprimanded or concerns regarding confidentiality. And coming from that, I think it's clear that there is um, a scope for change or a need for change at the organizational and leadership levels to help ensure that we are protecting women from adverse experiences and to ensure that they do not continue to suffer in silence. This research project was conducted at Combat Stress, a charity that's dedicated to supporting the mental health needs of UK veterans. It was a collaboration with King's College London and was made possible through the support of Women's Royal Army Corps Association.